Welcome back to the MCM bus stage. We are live here at MCM Birmingham Comic Con. We have some amazing guests for you right now, so please say hi to Paul Amos and Victoria Atkin. Are oh, you going to do louder than that? Come on. Okay, we We're go. more exciting than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Spider Man. What about me? <laughs> my God. It's right, my mum's shouting over there. Shut up. That's the one that counts. That's Victoria's mum, by the way, everyone. <laughs> Say hi to Victoria's mum. <laughs> How are you guys? We're good. Good. Yeah. So what have you been up to in the past week that we haven't seen you? Uh, well, what? I got engaged. Oh, yeah. Paul got engaged. Oh Congratulations. There is a romantic bone in my body. <laughs> but now I'll go back to being the horrible, cynical person I am. <laughs> he oh. did a very romantic proposal. You should tell them. Well, yeah, well, I proposed on top of Snowdonia, so we did a th I did a 3,000 foot hike, and uh, my partner thought I was going to have a heart attack, because I was down on one knee, she literally thought I was having a heart attack. I just turned 40, so she thought, maybe now's the time, <laughs> Paul hasn't got long left, um, but I was actually down on my knee, and I proposed 3,000 feet up in the sky, I guess, in I Wales. And the ring was forged from the gold of the, the area as well, and the diamonds, so, yeah. Wow, amazing. Well, then this makes this a bit more apt because it was your birthday last week. It just was. got engaged, so we have something for you. You've got a little present. Whoa, it's, it's nice. better be beer. <laughs> we couldn't bring beer, so we bought you cupcakes. Oh, thank you. Hey, they look good, actually. They do. I want this one. Ooh. Although we have to say, Victoria, mm. I think you deserve one because you've just flown. What do you mean back. she deserves one? <laughs> I deserve one just for putting up with you for a weekend. She was flying in business. <laughs> no, actually, she flew in first class because she was the most stylish person at the airport. So they upgraded her. Literally, tell them. Yeah, I, I was in the uh, airport lounge. Stylish. So I, I've, I live in Los Angeles and I from, we went to Liverpool Comic Con last week. And I had to fly back, so I spent the week there and then I flew back yesterday. And so I was sitting in the waiting area in the departure lounge, actually very tired from doing the weekend in Liverpool, about to do another 10 and a half hour flight. And this lady came up to me and said, oh, hi, um, can I see your boarding pass? And I actually thought she was going to like thieve it and try and get on the plane. <laughs> She's this random person. And uh, she goes, oh, okay. And then this other lady popped up around the corner and she was like, hi, I'm a stylist. And I was like... Oh, hi. Uh, yeah, I'm, d I'm just about to get my plane. She's like, no, no, you're the most stylish person today and we want to upgrade you. And I was like, oh, was, oh, okay. So officially the most stylish person. Apparently. Wow. I don't know. Uh, everybody else must have been in their pajamas because I've never had that label in my life. But. I know. It was what in New Zealand wearing? though, wasn't it? The Kiwis, I think I was just they're wearing not very I think I was just wearing this and my, and my jacket. I didn't, I didn't go into any extra effort, but apparently that's what <laughs> we do these days. So, yeah, maybe I'll have a cupcake for that. I like the Terry's okay, chocolate orange one. I miss, I miss that. Oh, I'm not sure about that. Oh. I love a chocolate orange. Oh. Whoa, look at them. Is Oreo? You can have the Oreo. I don't, well, that one's These a bit nice. weird. These are nice. What's the old little Mars bar? Mars bar. What's that? Cadbury's uh, caramel. I feel like I'm like looking at a box in your crotch I know. right now, which is not... Oh, it's a bit <laughs> interesting. A box in my crotch? I'm like this. <laughs> I've never been so interested in your crotch. <laughs> <laughs> well, it went sexual again. <laughs> Two minutes. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, those are Kessie. Thank you. The custom I wanted candles, imagine. though, but. Oh, I know, we're not allowed, say. apparently. Um, fire hazard. But, but, speaking of, you did mention you wanted a fireplace, so oh. we have something for you. Oh, yes. Look. Yay. <laughs> awesome. Yes. Oh, now we feel like we're in Birmingham. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I thought you were going to warm your bum. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't everyone like to warm their bum? I used chocolate. to love warming my bum in front of the fire. She eats some marshmallows now. It's just great. And feet. Bum and feet. Yeah. Yeah, we can put our feet up there. Yeah, throw another nice. log on. <laughs> it's going to die out. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> we probably should talk about Assassin's Creed. Well, yeah. We probably Instead should. Instead of talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, briefly, for uh, those who might not know, can you explain your characters on the game and uh, the game itself? I play Jacob Fry, who's an absolute tit in the game. Uh, no, I'm joking. Um, I play Evie Fry, um, and we're twin brother and sister uh, in the Victorian 
era, and uh, we are assassins in the new game, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Yeah, I played Jacob Fry, the impetuous brother. Oh yeah, there we are. Yeah, yeah. It's us. Yeah. Well, you guys are great in the game, and uh, I love the. Thank you, thank you. And I. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent would have been better. I mean, Completely last week you said he was amazing in Lost Girl. Great is kind of like sorry, seven out of I'm ten. Sorry, Assassin's Creed, created. we were like phenomenon. I just gave you cupcakes. <laughs> it's never good enough for him. It's never good enough. <laughs> you were totally wicked awesome in the game. There you go. And uh, I was wondering, what was your reaction when you first saw you yourselves as the characters? I thought there's just enough, there's just little likeness to them not pay me the money that they owe me. <laughs> That's what I thought. I thought it looks like me. It really does. But there's that one percent that doesn't quite look like the me. The one percent, but the beard's just a tiny bit different. The beard is like better. It's a little bit thicker on this side for Jacob. Because he can actually grow a beard. I can't really grow a beard. I've got like that spotty. Yeah. Sp Why does that happen? Actually it's stubble. not fair. I want to grow a real beard, but yeah. I can't. I gotta grow this fruity thing. So right. it's a trying beard. It's a trying beard. <laughs> I have a trying beard. It was weird, though, when we first saw ourselves. That, well, it was certainly weird for me to have your body movements and your facial movements and your voice extracted from your body and animated. So you knew it was yourself, but it wasn't quite you. So it was, it was very interesting to, to see and, and quite incredible to look at the technology that they were able to transfer our performance and our habits and our expressions to these uh, great characters that they animated. Yeah, because I mean, maybe not everybody knows, but for this particular game, we motion captured this for four months, pretty much, six days a week. So everything in the game is, is us. Uh, when you're pressing XXXXX and you're turning a wheel or doing something, I was actually doing that to like some crappy wooden structure <laughs> in the middle of a padded cell in a leotard with balls on. Added balls. Not bald, ball, but I mean, they, were, they were tucked in tight. But <laughs> every, t every, every time he says leotard, it really makes me just think of like a ballerina leotard. There, <laughs> there was legs to this leotard. It was more like a cat suit. Um, it's a leotard. <laughs> just so you've not got that horrible image that I have right now. <laughs> like a tight onesie. Yeah, a really tight onesie. They were really tight. And I was one of the only women on set most of the time, so it was quite, quite interesting to see the different shapes and sizes of, oh, this is all going to come out wrong. This is coming this out is wrong. This is definitely coming it's out wrong. It's going to stop before I carry on with that. Yeah, don't carry on with that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what, should we talk about your voices in the in Yeah, the let's game? talk about the voices, yeah. <laughs> let's move on to that. Segue out. And then, um, because I love how witty you guys, especially you, Jacob. Like, Thank there's a, you. There's a line in the game where you say Did you hear like, that? Yeah, I know. I'm like, hold on a Jacob. minute. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you're both great together. And I think um, you, you say something about how you, your mum had a facial hair problem. And uh, you, used to sell, you used to sell their hair for dolls or something Where's like that. that? Yeah, that's, uh, what was yeah, the yeah, that's it. No, there's that whole sequence. Remember, remember we were that? talking. Because we, uh, when they're building the game, when they have a playable version of it from start to finish, we have to we had to go in on the weekends, and we had to go through the game and then suggest lines. Oh yeah. Uh, so that was one of them. It was. I don't remember that. Yeah, it was with. Um, the one uh, with, with I mean, Jeff. With Jeff, but. Uh, yeah, we came out with all the stuff about Jacob's cooking. I don't know if you remember yeah, that. Yeah, I say that on the thing. Yeah, oh, that, was, that, like that was my cooking. line. I came up with that comedy. Like, uh, it was mine. Unfortunately, well, I had to credit. say it. Yeah, well, you had to say it, but people love it. <laughs> <laughs> and do you guys have any, like, sort of warm-up routines or anything that you do before you go oh, into acting? Oh, you should see Paul's. I mean, he does all the oh, humming. Can we see and it? Can no, we see don't it? do a warm-up. We, we have to do a thing when you do video games. Uh, when you do motion capture, you have to do a thing called ROM. And it's basically a silly dance that you have to do. It tests the range. It stands yeah. for range right. of movement. So do you guys want to see this? We want to see this, right? You have to do the roll of your arms. Yeah, that's it. Test your head. Turn the head side to side. <laughs> and you have to legs up. Put your leg up and to the side. Yeah, and the other one. Hips. Oh, the this girls will like really this one. At. The girls will like this one. Oh, yeah. There you that's go. It. Every time, and every uh, time. And knees. 
You have to do your knees separate and then feet. Feet. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Then you, what have, about to, then the, you have to do this. What about the push up thing? Then, we have oh, to do a push up. You have to go all the way out. Oh, God. Okay. The hey, push up. Do you have to do that? Yeah, if we you were do. doing it properly. We, I had, don't we had to do the push up on the floor and yeah. then jump up to And then and then we would end with the fireball. Oh yeah, which is one of these. Here you go. There and you, you go. Have awesome. <laughs> you have to do that every single morning and to afternoon. The music of their choice. So we would have all kinds of stupid tunes. We like doing it to Spice Girls sometimes. And I, we did I particularly like Lionel Richie's Hello. <laughs> oh, yeah, we did it to that <laughs> so slow. <laughs> Hello. Oh, this was another movement that we did, one of these ones where you're like that. Oh, and yeah, then you test right. it over. Oh, you like that one. Yeah, because I was better than you. female. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. I think there's a round of applause for that. that Thank you. Fantastic. And you do that twice movement. a day, every morning, every afternoon. Because you burn a lot of calories in that sweaty mocap suit. So yeah. if anybody wants to work out, do that one. And you go a little insane. Just a yeah. little bit. Well, we have some questions, I'm sure, in the audience. So should we take a couple quickly? Hello, Paul. Hello. Uh, my daughter and myself mainly know you from Lost Girl. Yes. Um, how did you like... What was it? What was it like the only English person in the Welsh program? person. Well, Welsh person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, see? I it's can't all right. She's that. dressed as like a queen, so we'll let her off. It's like daggers through my heart, that shirt right now. I don't still know what the score is. Anyone know what the Wales-Italy score is right now? Oh, he's going to get up. Um, being the only Welsh person on the show... And was great and also having all them gorgeous women around you but ended up having to be the gay one well he was bisexual so you know he had his fun with the women as well um no it was great um i uh, really enjoyed doing that show that we were all friends we were all young it was great and we did six years on a great show that's been watched around the world and and we're all friends now in fact you know i think i got text messages from about four of the cast members today since I've been here so you know we all keep in touch we hang out we drink we have dinners together we meet up when we're in different cities and we do a lot of these cons so you know we go to cities we've never been before get pissed and then um, <laughs> and then meet all these wonderful people hey. yeah it's awesome 20 nil to Wales get in hi um in the conceptual design... I hope it's 20 nil to France a bit later. Uh, in, in the conceptual design of your characters, um, did you get any say of what happened with your characters' designs, like costume-wise? And what would you change if you could within the design of how they look within the game? I, I did, actually. Uh, the, um, what? That was to both of us. You did? Yeah, the... Um, the pocket watch they didn't have before and they I spoke to Ramiro and we talked about that and they added the pocket watch to Evie because I said this lady is you did know she, does she ever use it in the game no we couldn't animate that but it does <laughs> be on there. that probably would have cost another 20,000 dollars yeah there animate. was a couple of times where I was like can she look at no no she yeah. can't look at it but she can have it that's funny it's because sometimes when you're making acting choices in mocap you want to do something they'll be like uh, no, 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 no. That's going to cost $50,000 to do that. Yeah, if you take that pocket watch out of your pocket, <laughs> yeah, that's like going to cost us a lot of money. No, no, but no, you no, can no, have no, no. it, so they can just think that you do use it's it. It's a nice idea, but no, no, But no, yeah, no, no. the pocket watch was added after a conversation that I had. Um, and I think a lot of, you know, we didn't want Evie to be highly sexualized or look too much like that. So the, the costume for her was, was talked about a lot. So, yeah. So... Not on that's that one. That's fairly highly sexualized, would but, you say? Yeah, but she doesn't look like that in the game, does <laughs> no, she? No, not at all. She doesn't have boobs like that in the game. The, thing, the, the other thing is with the concept art is that they do a lot of it really early on. So the characters that, you know, they, they put two life-size characters of Jacob and Evie in the rehearsal space, in the mocap space, that didn't look anything like the ones in the game. And they were super early on concept art. And it takes a long time. And there's so many different divisions of Ubisoft. The marketing is a different thing altogether to the actual game almost. I used to joke around. I had marketing Jacob and I had game Jacob. You have a different marketing voice for Jacob. And they're literally <laughs> two different characters. 
And it's because marketing had a, 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 a way of uh, what they wanted to see it as. And then we did what we did on the game. And it's, it's really difficult. So, and we don't have much of a say in terms of that stuff because those people are highly trained. They've been doing it for ages. They know uh, what they want even before we, ar we arrived we on, arrived, you yeah. know. But actually something that I've not revealed at any convention is that Evie Ooh, originally... It's exclusive. I know. Evie originally was blonde. She was going to be blonde. The first pictures of her, she had blonde hair and then... Oh, that's why, yeah. That's yeah. why I was auditioning with actresses that were blonde. Yeah. That was way before. That was That's way right. after I was caught. Yeah, and then they cast me, and then they thought, "Well, you shut up, Paul." <laughs> Paul was so. Paul had to travel all over the world just to meet me. I didn't leave my house. <laughs> I did. I had to take eleven flights in one week. And I did all my job. auditions from wow. my house. Yeah, and then I went from Mexico. Uh, I had to take three flights from Mexico. Then I flew over to London. Then I flew back to Toronto, and then uh, I flew over to LA. Then I flew back to Toronto. Then I had a con in Winnipeg and I had to come back and then I, they finally told me I got the job on the Monday. They made you work for it. Yeah, and do you know what? She just sat in the bloody beach <laughs> in LA yeah, the I whole did. time. He was doing all that and I did my first audition from home. I taped it at home and sent it there. Second audition I did from home. And then, oh, then I did fly to Quebec and then I came back to LA and, and they flew Paul to me. Yeah, but Evie wasn't meant to be in the game much. Oh, so. shut up, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, I have loved talking to you. I'm sure you guys have loved listening. We even had a game for you guys to play, oh, no. but we do not have time. Oh. 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 The I game sounded really good as well. Ass. No, no, we're going to go play that. But they had another game of like, how, was did. it about how we know each other? Yeah, like a favorites game. Oh, oh. Like a Mr. and Mrs. Yeah. But oh. for brother okay. and sister. Next time. So thank Damn you it. very much to Paul Amos and Victoria Atkin. Thank you. You got it right. We'll call you Paul Amos next time. We oh. are. <laughs> we are going to play Street Fighter now. I think people can come watch that. Yes. Yeah, you can come and watch it like Gary Ross whipped. You, you can, and you can also remember to find us on YouTube and to follow us on Twitter and have a chance to win these signed goodies from Paul and Victoria. So once again, thank Woo. you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.